Hello, I'm Jeff. Oh, I'm Chloe, and this is my dad. This is my daughter, and we are the dad and daughter duo of, of front, desk, front Desk Airbnb. And we are here to give you the skills to master Airbnb. We decided to make this video with some tips and practical advice on how to get that Airbnb bed of yours five star ready. So like, subscribe, and watch our other videos. We'll see you later. Let's do this. Let's get to it. Yeah. Today, we are going to be talking about the bed problem we've had for about seven years. Going to Airbnbs and knowing that not everybody knows how to give a five-star bed. First off, start with a great bed. What I mean by that, have a good bed frame, no cinder blocks, no pallet beds, and absolutely no beds on the floor. And number two, the best mattress you can afford. So this mattress was a bed in a bag that's medium firm that we had shipped to our front door. Don't worry about trying to find the mattress for yourself. We will provide the links below to our favorite mattresses that we use and you will have an easy peasy process to finding your best mattress. Number three, you need a good mattress pad. When it came to us looking for this mattress pad that we were putting down, we had a couple of qualities that we were looking for. It needed to be waterproof, stain resistant, have a perfect grip around the bed, and also be machine washable. And number four are good sheets for the bed. Maybe not good, maybe even great. So first you need to make sure you have a fitted sheet. And a flat one. Since those things go together. So we are going to make this bed now. Let's make it. So when we're doing the sheet, or the, the flat sheet, we need to make sure it's tucked in at the end. And we will show you that at the end of doing the sheets. We'll put the back end first, tuck it all in. And then on the side, you want to pull it towards yourself, tuck it in here, and then pull underneath the side. And then it's a little tight, and it's just like a hotel sheet. So maybe you think that you need to iron your wrinkled sheets. I say you don't need to spend the time doing that. You can easily take them up, put them in the dryer for a couple minutes, and then most of the wrinkles will be gone. But my grandma used to iron her sheets. Mm. Number five is to make sure that you have a top blanket over your sheets. Depending on if it's hot or cold, winter or summer, you need to have either a thin or a thick blanket above the sheets, just so that during the night, if it happens to be cold in the house, your guests are always comfortable and warm. Number six, it's time for pillow talk. You'll notice I don't just have two pillows here. I have an assortment from soft to hard to reading to sleeping because you don't know what your guests are gonna like, but you wanna provide them with an assortment of likable pillows on their bed so they can sleep really nicely. And remember that your sleep at your Airbnb was the best they ever had. Another little tidbit with pillows is we like to use pillow protectors. This protects all our pillows from makeup and perfume. It's also hyperallergenic, and overall it'll make your pillows last just a little bit longer. So number seven is the icing on the cake. What I mean by that is the bedding, the top bedding. In general, there are three choices for bedding. There's a duvet, there's a coverlet, and a comforter. And we're here to tell you the difference between all of them. The most important tip we can give you is not to use a comforter. Why is that? Think your washing machine. Uh, every time you're gonna have to put that huge thing in a washing machine, when you have a duvet, you just take the cover off, throw it in, it's a, it's a time saver and you'll love us for giving you that tip, I promise. But another item that I have in my hand is a coverlet, and that is something that you can also use just like a duvet. So whatever you choose, either a duvet or a coverlet, just know that every time a guest leaves, you are going to be putting it in the washer and having to turn it every single time after a guest leaves. But why? Because it's dirty. Well, what if the guest was clean? Let me ask you, how would you feel if you walked into a nice hotel and you knew just by looking at the bedding that it had not been washed? Maybe you find a long hair on the bed or That's gross. something of that sort. That's you gross. want every single time just for wash it to be washed. Them. Just wash them every time. Yes. Number eight happens to be a small tip, but it's a really good one. It'll save you time, which we all know time is money.
So corner to a corner, always hold them in the corner. So, so uh, that's it, folks. That's pretty much the end of our bedding, that's, right? That's all of it? Oh, no. What no, did we forget? Oh, we forgot the blanket. Everyone likes a blanket at the end of their bed because maybe they don't want to get in for bed yet. So we just put it at the end. Oh. Maybe this was the icing on the cake. Yeah, probably. You just have it <laughs> laying there for them to notice that it's theirs. That's and that it. is your Airbnb comfy, five welcoming five-star five bed. There so, you go. Remember, if you like the video, tell us you like it and, and follow us and also check out our other videos. See you soon.